Today's a good day. And I'm going to cook Super Bowl rice bowl. One more beer. Suck mo natin yung wonder cake. Washa! First, we're going to chop the veggies, which is the okra. Shrimp and okra bowl. Chop the okra or the lady fingers as fine as possible or as you can. Then some shrimp. Just uh, measure it by one is to one. One okra, one shrimp. This is already clean and deveined. it up there that's the okra that's the shrimp and then this is the uh, I'm chopping the one half cube of uh, beef bouillon mix it all up like that add some eggs probably two two is enough this is for our uh, okra and shrimp bowl. Salt. Just guesstimate. Pepper. This is uh, garlic powder. So very simple. Chop okra, chop shrimp, egg, salt, pepper, garlic powder. And you also add uh, onion powder. Add a little bit of paprika. And then you add the Japanese style breadcrumbs, also known as panko breadcrumbs. If you ever had fried okra before, this is a lot better. Because this fried okra will be turned into like balls. The egg and the okra will stick together. Together with the beef cubes, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper. Mix them all up. Mix them well so that all the flavor mix together. Today's definitely a good day. Now time to fry our uh, okra and shrimp bowls and our fried rice for our Super Bowl rice bowl is ready. So now, all we have to do is fry them. 
this is our mixture usually okra are sm slimy but not this recipe doesn't matter if they're regular round it's up to you but with me I don't really care much what the shape is fry them like so Ooh, smells good, baby. Whoosh! This is the mixture of uh, okra, shrimp, and spices. They look good! Now time to flip our uh, okra balls so that they won't get burned. Burn baby, burn. I'm just kidding. This one needs a little bit maybe later. Oh yeah. Our uh, first batch is ready. So now Gonna put them over there with a the paper towel so that the paper towel will uh, suck up the grease, the excess grease. Oh, yeah, baby! And these are beef fried rice. For that recipe, you can check out the other videos. I have a lot of fried rice video there. One with the crabs, one with the bacon. It's a good day. Okra shrimp balls. We have some leftover shrimp. We don't want that to go to waste, so might as well fry them. And this is how I fry my shrimps. <laughs> same, same technique. Only I would add a little bit of milk. It's a little bit so that it will be just moist. That's the milk. Add egg. Just like earlier, garlic powder. Sea salt. Onion powder, and paprika. And we also have some leftover uh, panko bread, so we can just use it later to fry. And of course, don't forget the black pepper. Black pepper. <laughs> and mix it all up. Now all it, all it needs is a dousing of the panko bread and then we can fry it like it needs a little bit more of uh, pepper today's a good day the leftover shrimp together with the spices that we add before we fry them we mix it all up like this and then we also have some leftover panko bread uh, Japanese style breadcrumbs all we have to do is uh Put them all over there. Your kitchen, your rules. You can add as many as you want or less. 
more, less, doesn't matter, it's up to you. This one is uh, easy to follow. Just uh, rewind the video. Now time to heat it up. Try them like so. Fried shrimp. That's good, baby. Your kitchen, your rules. Since our oil is hot, it doesn't take much time for you to flip it. With the shrimp, you don't have to overcook it. What it change color is ready. This is hot, boiling hot. Can't control the bubbles. First batch is ready with a matter of seconds. Today's a good day. Our first batch of the fried shrimp is here. Now time for the second batch. Just pan fry them like so. Oh yeah. Now, we're gonna prepare our Super Bowl rice bowl. This is our beef fried rice. For the recipe, check my other videos. Put them in a bowl like so. Then we can use uh, our fork here to get some of the shrimp and okra bowls. Probably put like how many one three and over here our fried shrimp. These are leftover shrimp that I just fried. Ciao! Our meal is ready. Now if you don't have rice, you can just make it like so. Like a party platter for your Super Bowl um, game day. Now we'll, we're gonna make the dipping sauce. This is the sriracha sauce. I would say like one teaspoon. Now add like two teaspoon of condensed milk. Mix it like so. And two teaspoon of mayonnaise. One teaspoon of sriracha sauce. Two teaspoon of condensed milk. And two to three teaspoon of mayonnaise. Now we're gonna let our guest for today, Supia Maria Siko. This is the shrimp. We'll have to taste it. Crispy. <laughs>